Hi y'all, this is Heather from Ten Commandments. It's been a while, Saturday, January 27th. What have you been up to, y'all? I put on a little makeup just for you so you don't see my big... I got bit right here. And I've been breaking out really bad. So I put on makeup so you don't have to see all that. Peace out there. I love you, but Jesus loves you better. Please subscribe to this channel if you like. Put a like, thumbs up. If you want to write to me and sow a seed, go ahead at 3573 West Third Street, 124 Los Angeles, California, 90020. I want to quickly um, thank you guys for keeping the views far up. I, have, I think I reached 10K views on my body shame and face shame video. I just shrugged my shoulders. Okay, whatever. I want to do part two on an individual that I always consider kind of my boyfriend years and years ago. I met him and uh, I thought we had already broke up like three years ago. I broke it off. I told him I cannot do this anymore. He was always, uh, I always called him as brother as Christ. And now he's resurfaced in my life. He reminds me of a narcissist. I don't know if you folks are educated on narcissists. He's very obsessed. Um, I've unfortunately had encountered this maybe two or three other times with exes. They seem to have a hard time letting go of me. <laughs> I have that effect. This one is really, really out of just really absurd because I thought I better make a video of this in case somebody out here is going through the same thing it's really absurd because like they literally rejected me and I had begged them to come and see me and they told me no numerous times and I'm only like an hour and a half away and now I keep hearing from the Lord. They're crying. They're begging God. They're ranting. They're telling everybody. Now they're mad at me. So you're mad at me for rejecting me and abandoning me. And when I was down and out, had no money, I had nothing, like literally had to start all over. I was unhoused at the time. And I drove to see them while I'm in this situation, while they're under a, sh a shelter and you know going about their life and business and couldn't even help me now you're you want me back at your early convenience and no it'll never happen you need to learn your lesson and you need to move forward i mean we live in a big world there's plenty other people out there if i was able to move on so are you you know what happened to the saying is if you really love someone you let them go so they could be happy with somebody else he's not doing that he refused to let me go. He thinks uh, I, he's the right one for me. <laughs> really? So now I'm just laughing at it. It's, it's becoming a big joke. And um, I don't know why the Lord keeps allowing me to have to listen to what he's going through. So uh, the door will, is closed. It was going to remain closed forever. In case you're watching this video, good luck to you. Uh, but I'm going to warn you, if you come near me, it will not be pretty. That would be the biggest mistake. Don't do that. Don't even go there. Let's pray, everyone. Father God, in the name of Jesus, please protect us from immature, uh, narcissists, like I said, personality, people that are just wanting to come back in our life to hinder our blessings is about to come around the corner. Please have them receive my forgiving. And please don't let anyone or even them stop any blessings that's on my way. They have no power. No devil in hell will stop our blessings from coming our way. Help them get over it and move forward. In Jesus my name, amen. Yeah, it, it's, it's really crazy. If anyone out there is going through the same thing, continue to pray for the individual. Just continue to forgive them. But continue to be assertive and tell them no. Because they have to learn their lesson. So the next person that enters their life, they will not take them for granted. And for that person, in the, they will be happy. I'm a high value woman. I have grown more and more maturely spiritually. Um, 
you know, I, I'm just happier. And uh, I'm not going to provide too much information on here about my personal life, but it, it is very good right now. And I don't need them. I don't want them anymore. And it's sorry to hear all this, that they cannot move on. It's really sad because I literally would used to drive by their place and cry and rat and rave in my car, you know, because I thought it was over. They, they would just literally um, withdraw from me on and off, on and off. And now that they realize they have totally lost me completely, they feel as though they could just be obsessive in me. They feel as though that they own me and control me. No one owns us out there. We have a free will to say no. Okay? If you're going through any type of um, person that is following you, are obsessed with you, go to the police and get a restraining order on them. And if you have any means, get the heck out of your town if you have to. Move far away from them. And don't tell anywhere where you're going. It could be really serious. And pray next time for your next partner and and, and get three confirmations and make sure that the Lord is sending them to you. People with good values don't act like that mature values they just don't and it's worth the wait and you'll be really happy at the end you do not have to go back to people that uh, totally was not communicated with you and, and treat you like trash you don't have to do that there's plenty of fish out there in the sea there's plenty of good people out there that treat you with a healthy relationship non-toxic um everything you just have to be patient though and pray a lot about it okay so if anyone's going through a heavy breakup and you're having a hard time letting go go reach out to counseling they have counseling centers everywhere at the hospitals you can call for counseling you can ask the Lord to help you be healed and move on okay because you know life is too short you know, I lost my husband years ago. That was the hardest thing I ever had to go through. I still, to this day, sometimes I, I, I miss him, you know. But I need him to be in peace. That's not fair to him. And it's not fair to me. So we, we all need to be mature adults. Nothing in this world we cannot be attached to. This is not our permanent home is what I keep, I thought, this is in the Bible. You know, this is temporary. We're not supposed to be attached to our material things, our family, our friends, n not even our partners, our spouses, nothing, no one. Not our sunglasses, not our makeup, not our clothes, not our cars, you know. You have to be attached to Jesus. He's number one. That's who you need to be married to more than anybody. So keep that in mind next time you be in a relationship with somebody. You know, yeah, they're number one, but they're number one behind Jesus. So in case if it crumbles, you're not going to be that upset. You got to be strong. You can't be weak. You got to be strong. And if you have a chance with a wonderful person, that's wonderful inside out. Work on that relationship. Don't take it for granted. Be there for them. When they're going through a tough time, don't withdraw and leave them. That is the worst mistake that people do. You have to stick together and go through things together. Be a strong union. If you're not a strong union, you can't handle being in a relationship. You shouldn't be in one at all. Don't go out there looking for one. Stay single. Start working on yourself emotionally, physically spiritually financially every area of your life then you ask God am I ready to be in a relationship you have no business getting in a relationship if you can't you know be there through thick and thin even the vows say that so come on people we need to grow up and we need to stop 
going in relationships when we're not supposed to. So please take this message seriously. We're already at 10 minutes. I can't even believe it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Peace out there and love. Remember what I said? You can replay this video. Have a good day. It's a beautiful day. Look at the trees. Look at the ocean. Look at the skies. Look at everyone. I want you to stop and look what God has created for you. Thank him that you're even alive today. You could have died in your sleep last night. And you would have to say goodbye to all this anyway. So please don't take life for granted. Have a good day.